Welcome to Atticum Plays Pharaoh, A New Era. All right. Hi, this is Atticum, and welcome to Series 1, Episode 21 of our playthrough of Pharaoh, A New Era. This is Part 2 of our, our uh, look at the mission called Dunkel Oasis. A very challenging mission. You can see the land here is just awful. Mountains and water and sand dunes everywhere. Just not good building space. And what I'm looking at here, in the first part we got a nice large worker block set up. And we got our industry going and we got that worker block all the way up to common residence. And um, what I'm thinking about here is I was contemplating building a sort of a luxury block for our next block to get our uh, 3,500 uh, requirement. And then, I, then as I looked at this land more, I thought, nah, let's just get this done. Let's build uh, the blocks we've been doing. So we're going to use one of our little curving road straight, <laughs> you know, the curving straight road kind of deals. And we're going to go out and, and set it up um, in order to gain um, employment. Uh, you know, basically we're trying to drive toward 3,500 population while maintaining, uh, you know, keeping up our culture rating so that we can get all the, all the, all the uh, requirements uh, ticked off from the uh, um, mission briefing, one of which is, a, I forget, I think it's a 25 culture rating and, and a, a certain kingdom rating, and our kingdom rating will be no problem. We've got Ra and we're doing just fine meeting requests. But what I wanted to do is get a deal where we've got um, uh, we learned, and I forget which mission it was, but we learned that for every 1,200 people, you basically need a, a dance stand, two bandstands, and three jugglers booths. So if we build a juggler booth, a bandstand, which also has a juggler booth, and a pavilion, which has a dance stand and a bandstand and a juggler's booth, that gives us the, the perfect combination for 1,200 people, which is roughly what one of our little um, curving straight line blocks like this uh, will hold somewhere in that area. So uh, I'm thinking about this in terms of um, uh, how can I put that uh, entertainment and get it right and how can I build out this block. So I, this is the same uh, kind of stuff we've been doing over and over. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much through this. Uh, you'll be relieved to know. Uh, I will. I will jump in here if there is something uh, worth commenting on. I decided to make this one kind of like a um, like a nice little downtown services area where you would go to the doctor and you go to get your get your food and all this kind of stuff. Of course, you know in this game it all comes to you, but that simulates the idea that you go go downtown. So we've got a nice little downtown here with uh, the fire and architecture, and and we'll have a dentist and we'll have a doctor and and the tax collector will be down. You know the whole bit, uh, kind of the kind of the downtown area for these people. And then uh, the religion will be kind of spread throughout. And then the housing will be the rest of it. The entertainment will be off at the other end. And that's just because that's the way we need to do our walkers. And I was looking here to see, is there a way that we could put the uh, temple complex in this build? And it's just clumsy. I, I, I kind of, I wanted to actually do a build. I was, I was looking at a housing block that another player had done that I liked that actually built around the uh, temple complex. I really liked that idea. However, this land is so crappy. The water, you know, it, that's something you could do on a, on a map that was more green, right? That wasn't desert like this. Because here you've got to take the water out to the desert in order to be able to build. And there's such limited space. I, I, again, I just decided, ah, uh, let's get this one over with. This land is too 
too crappy to try to mess with being too fancy. And I'll be happy to just succeed at this because this is not an easy mission. So we're so again we'll go back to let's build the downtown area, put out put some um, um, religion out there wherever, and and build up a block. And again, I'll shut up. Now the entertainment here, I hadn't, I've never done this where I put in the uh, uh, booth and the bandstand and the pavilion. So I'm just going to, uh, you'll see me kind of uh, start it one way, delete it, change it. And I, what I decided is I'd like to have the booth and then have a roadblock after the booth um, so that we don't get our uh, walkers from the... Um, uh, service buildings and from the uh, religion and, and, and what have you, uh, the bizarre ladies and all that, uh, getting up there in those intersections and getting all confused. So as long as you can provide fire service for, for this, you're good. And there I thought I had it, but I actually then thought, no, 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 I want to I want to have that roadblock. You'll, you'll see. You'll, I, I'll, you, you'll uh, see as, as it goes along. And here I decide just to do something different with the uh, with the pavilion, just so it didn't look like a, <laughs> you're just stacking them straight up. To make it into a true kind of a, as much as we can, uh, given the constraints, make it look like an entertainment area. So there you've got the pavilion over there. You got the uh, uh, bandstand right there, and uh, like that. And it just looks like they've just sort of stacked up on top of each other. Kind of cool. But, <laughs> I'm realizing that. That's what I really want. I really want, I don't mind them going through the booth because that's just a corner. But we don't want them getting, we don't want walkers getting up in there. So, um, let's go out three with the, with the, um, bandstand and then let's build the pavilion off that that end of the bandstand and uh, once you kind of understand how they're shaped they're, they're, they're actually they're not that hard to figure out so there we go now that looks like a good fit there we go that looks good that lo that looks like what we're after and that's kind of a different looking thing and as long as you have fire protection uh, for that for those two uh, you're good to go now, I do make a goof here, as I recall. No, I take it back. I didn't make a goof. <laughs> Thought I had, but uh, I put housing right there, and that, that way those, um, those can get housing. And even, even better still, put some more housing right there on the end of that booth, and you've got people living there. Uh, you will have people living there to uh, staff that firehouse, which you'd have to have since walkers can't get up in there. We need, we need a firehouse dedicated to the bandstand and pavilion, and uh, all that will be able to get staffing and uh, should work great.
And you can see we're starting to get blessings without running any festivals because we've got really good, uh, strong religious coverage with all the all the temples and, and the shrines that we do have. We're in great shape in terms of our religious coverage and we should be in great shape on our entertainment. And we've got uh, the dentist going. I uh, can't remember if I got the linen and mortuaries. No, I don't think we got the linens and mortuaries down here. That was shame on me. Should have done that as well to get that health coverage, but it wasn't required to uh, finish off the mission. And here we can see if we check our diversions, we've got perfect jugglers, perfect musicians, perfect uh, dancers. So we we have perfect coverage, looking good. Our entertainment uh, is excellent, and we don't need um, the Senate House until we have 5,000 population. So I decided that while yes, those uh, bizarre ladies can walk way down there and get what they need, it would be really nice if we had stuff closer by. Plus. Uh, some more entertainment to make sure that we can keep those stages. If you're going to have those stages, you got to be nice to have people entertaining there. So we want to set up an area here where we can put in some, uh, some more entertainment schools to give us more uh, people. We're also going to have the, you know, unemployment to support it. And then also be able to use this area down here once we get the protection for fire and police to, um, bring some of our goods down here for the bizarre ladies down in this down here in this end out here in the southwest so that they can uh, uh, keep up with the demand of, of uh, what we've got so we've got them buying uh, pottery we're going to have them buying beer we've got the entertainment coming so they're going to quickly uh, be able to move to the pottery and then then quickly to the beer and we're going to start bringing stuff down here and trying trying to uh, again as I said get some stuff down here so get, go get a half a load of uh, meat and keep it down here and uh, go get some pottery go get some beer etc Here I decided to go with a festival to Raw because our our uh, uh, kingdom rating is good, but it's not awesome. It's only a 60, so let's just uh, build it up a little bit. Do a festival to Raw. Plus, he's great for trade. He can he can get your trade partners to trade more with you and also to pay higher prices. We're getting close on the granite. We've got uh, 
one uh, storage yard accepting granite right there at the quarries and then we've got three other storage yards kind of spread out wherever we could put them to uh, get the uh, granite so that we could get enough to have 100 in stock and so that we can place that uh, obelisk that we have to build. So we'll keep working on raw and, and watching that granite to see that we have enough. I can see it's growing over there, we did. So Seth takes care of us. We go to battle and rout a, a decimated army of the enemy. And we can see this block down here is developing nicely and already up to common residences for the most part. Got a little bit of uh, area where the food hasn't quite made it that far yet, but it'll get there. And by the way, I think I figured out how in the world could you have We've got two bazaars down in one end. How could you have uh, evolution near the bazaars and at the far end, but not at, right in the middle? I think what happens is that the lady who's out distributing, if a buyer comes back with stuff um, and she's out distributing at the far end, she, she just starts distributing. It doesn't, you know, it's not like she has to go back and get it. It just sort of magically is in her possession. So here we've got enough to... Uh, get the granite and lay down the obelisk and we're going to put in one carpenter and two um, stonemasons to finish that off. I don't have any any formula or idea of what's an ideal amount. It doesn't matter because the long pole intent for us is just reaching 3,500, which, you know, if I'd been more into the speed, we would have gone down and started doing this kind of thing probably a little bit sooner. Um, and hit that 3,500 more quickly. But I really did have it in the back of my head to completely develop the worker block and then build a fancy like manor block or something, but changed my mind when I got a, really thought about the crappy terrain here. My stonework will endure through the ages. Okay, so that second block is is 
stabilizing nicely. And uh, we're gonna need a third one in order to hit 3,500. And again, terrain, not great. But I decided to do something a little bit cute here and kind of uh, come out through the rocks, so to speak. Did want to try to fit the um, temple complex in there. It just seemed like a shame not to build it. And, uh, you know, one strategy might be to rush to it to uh, uh, get uh, the blessings more frequently from Seth. But at the same time, uh, the, the space sucks. You know, it's a big building. So uh, I decided to just, I was going to have it. I'm going to have it. So that'll take care of the uh, worship, uh, the access to uh, Seth. And then if we just put the other two gods in there, we got it all covered. So this one decided to go with a, a bazaar in each end. And that was a goof right there with that bazaar. Uh, putting it right there in that corner. Because of the entertainment, it's actually a problem for getting the entertainment to the uh, uh, pavilion, getting staff to the pavilion because they don't have anybody to recruit. And I will, I think, I'm pretty certain I, I realized that I made a mistake here um, and, didn't, and didn't get that roadblock in. So now you got this situation where your walkers could go up in there and get in all those intersections with the bandstand and the pavilion and just walk all over the place and and uh, you know not not a great thing not a great thing
decided to get the two uh, additions, the two uh, altars, even though eh, mortuaries need less linen. Actually, is a small help. Uh, I forget what the other one even was, but they don't really... They didn't seem that relevant to me, <laughs> but I got them just to begin them, just because we can afford it. And here's where I punch in and say, no, no, no. I'm not used to building them like this. This is the first time I've tried one like this. I realize I want it to stop. I want it to come off that uh, booth and stop and then then build the, um, the uh, rest of the entertainment venues off of after the uh, after the uh, stop, and now you can kind of see where the mistake was with the uh, um, bazaar because that that need, needs to be housing so that we can uh, recruit there. Now our obelisk is finished, so that's 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 all well and good. But again, the thing keeping us from finishing is the uh, housing. And now we should be good with this extra one here. So we're going to set this one up to buy game meat, game meat and beer and uh, pottery. And set up the other, his twin, to do the same thing. It's a uh, uh, sister bazaar at the entrance to this. I decided here now we've got a lot of beer consumers and we're only Im importing to maintain 800. That's not enough. So we're going to start. We've got money now. We've got plenty of money. And so we're going to start importing uh, a full load if we can get it. And we're going to start making more pottery since, again, we're expanding. Uh, we've only had two potters. Now we're going to have a total of four. Put, we're going to put in our um, Scrabble school up here into this block. We want it to fully evolve to common residence. I still don't think I punched in on that mistake with the entertainment up there. I, I, it really is wrong. They're not getting any staff.
So I never did figure it out. It took this fire to make me realize that there's no way to recruit. So that firehouse couldn't recruit anybody and eventually that pavilion caught on fire. So uh, the fire, if it hadn't been for the fire, I guess I never would have figured it out. But then all, you had to do, all I had to do was put down another set of housing right there at that corner and make it easy, easy for them to um, uh, get there. And sure enough, and that's interesting too, uh, I think I commented on this in, the, in an earlier one, you can build on top of that burnout spot, which was interesting. So quickly get some housing in there, and now now we actually have have a functioning pavilion, and we can get more entertainment into this uh, housing block, and we can get full um, uh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, they they came in one by two, two by two, two by two, one by two. Tried to get them to straighten out, and when I delete them they actually expanded in the opt out away from it so <laughs> so anyway got that fixed and we've got we're 3100 people I think we're I think and I think we've got the capacity now I think we've got enough capacity to get the 3500 and what I've decided to do is it's getting tougher to keep the food so going to go out, we can import some foods. Another reason I was tempted to uh, do the fancy block because you could get multiple food types. So we're going to try to get uh, import fish and um, chickpeas down here and then import some um, figs up at the top that's, the, uh, you know, in the original, near the original block and then start selling those off uh, in uh, one in each of the blocks so that we have a second food source. And it's not, it's not necessarily to get the upgrade with the second food source, it's more to make sure we have food. So I decided, you know, I got all this granite, we're exporting it, we can't use it, we've got more than we need for requests, so I'm gonna take that uh, one and run out of space up here, just don't have places to put anything. Uh, I mean, we could create another work block up there uh, just to the right of that uh, obelisk, but I decided, to ah, shoot, let's just empty out this uh, this guy here, throw away all the, all the granite, and then say accept all figs. And I see a, a goof there. I, I assumed that when I did the throw away that it would actually stop accepting, but it actually stayed at get. If I'd had that accept, I think it would have turned that off and that uh, storage yard would not have uh, even accepted the granite. So maybe that's something the developers could look at. It should be consistent between get and accept in terms of if you're going to trash it, throw everything out, and you're going to turn it off for accept, it should turn it off for get as well. So we're setting up... Uh, each uh, housing block to pick up one of the three second food so that each one each one's getting a unique one and that should keep the food distributed pretty easy, evenly between the three blocks and keep them all uh, able to maintain their uh, common residence status with as you can see up there the occasional hiccup where uh, some food needs to be delivered and part of the problem, too, is we're having to send so much game meat off to uh, to our neighbors. We're getting so many requests for it. There, there, there is a lot of uh, starvation going on in the kingdom, right? It's not a great time in Egypt. Uh, Egypt is struggling right now. Our, our, our ratings are good. Our culture says there's too few scribal schools that's uh, that's not correct there's one in every block so every every house has access to scribal schools and we just gotta ride this out until we hit our 3500 
there's another case where they didn't grow in properly, so I deleted one, allowed two of them to expand, and then going to put the one back in the middle so they'll all be uh, the two-by-two two buildings we're looking for. And there we've got a little bit of, because we got the second food, you got the spacious residence there. And if we went with linen, we would end up with uh, probably a fancy residence. Or an elegant residence, maybe? Well, whatever, we would end up with the next, <laughs> with a slightly more advanced house. But again, the, the purpose of the second food is not so much that as it is to make sure we have some food. <laughs> So we're getting near the end. Let's kind of uh, summarize what we did. Um, I think the key to this one is to get that quick industry going, whatever you choose, whether it's the gems and jewelry or the wood. I do love the wood because you don't have to do a second process. It's just cut it down, sell it for a lot of money. And uh, But the trick was not, don't overbuild at the beginning. Just focus entirely on getting that, that money maker going and then get your military going immediately after that with the money you make, and then get a second source of income going immediately after that. And that's what we did, and that seemed to work really well. Oh, here's a big battle, but we just kind of cleaned up on it. We've got, we've got very seasoned veteran academy trained troops, and uh, uh, they, they can do just fine. And even though Seth didn't help us with that battle, he'll help us with the next one. So. Um, so anyway, the, the, I think those are the keys to getting this one done, and um, I, I enjoyed playing this one. It was real. It is really hard. It really, I really had to uh, uh, work at this one uh, to think about how to how to get it done and make it work. And uh, uh, I hope you got something out of this that will help you be successful in playing uh, Dunk or Oasis. You have managed to provide for your people while Egypt crumbles around you. Your family skill will serve Egypt well in the difficult times to come. We had 99 kingdoms, 66 prosperity, and 40 uh, culture. So good job on Dunkel Oasis. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe. And join us for our next Pharaoh, A New Era video. Thank you.